Hey everybody, it's me. I uh, hope everybody's having a good day. Um, I got my newest Squish box in the mail today, and hopefully my phone doesn't decide to fly off of its stand like it did a few seconds ago. So, I will show you the box. And then there's the February 2014 card. They even put a new design on their little push cards. So let's get into it. And uh, the hard stuff I probably won't be trying today just because it would take too long. <laughs> um, the first thing I see is the uh, milk mint candy, cool mint between milky candies. Um, so, I mean, that sounds like it's going to be good. <laughs> and um, next thing is the uh, and these are my favorite because, you know, God knows if it's Senbei, I'll eat it. Um, this is the Strawberry Senbei uh, Creamy Strawberry Drizzle, nice and pink. So I'll be launching into that. Uh, we have the Vanilla Roll Cake, which mine doesn't look like it's vanilla. I'm pretty sure it's strawberry. <laughs> it's like the little pig guy. Check him out. So... I, I can imagine that this will probably maybe taste like our little um, strawberry shortcake little Debbie rolls, although probably better. <laughs> I seem to notice this pattern of like their stuff tasting just a little bit better. Um, we have the Umetra, which is this, and it is um, pickled plum tea. Uh, I knew what ume was, and I've had it a couple different ways. I've had uh, ume senbei, and I've had ume uh, jelly, and I haven't had it in tea, so I'm a little bit afraid, but I will be trying this. Um, but I probably won't try that one on camera either. And uh, I'm pretty sure this is uh, Takanoko Yama. Yeah, Takanoko Yama. Um, or it's Kinoko no Yama, um, and it is biscuits covered in chocolate or strawberry, and like I said, I'm pretty sure this is chocolate, and, um, well, it's obviously chocolate, but since it's listed first, I'm gonna guess that it's the, uh, Takenoko Yama. And we have, okay, this one scares me, because I looked at the package and I went, ooh, that's creepy. Um, this is Sembei Mix. A pub mix of nuts, sinbei, dried fish, <laughs> and shrimp crackers. And then, like, check out that packaging. Like, like, there's a little fishy right there. I'm not quite sure how I feel about this. Um, and we have the uh, Aero Chocolate, a Japanese version of the bubbly, bubbly chocolate from the UK. And this is actually made by Nestle. You can see right there. Edo chocolate. Reminds me of the, uh, I guess, the Hershey bars that came out a little while back with air bubbles in them. And then we have a uh, kombu ume jelly, um, which is kelp and ume, so uh, like seaweed and pickled plum. Mm. <laughs> and um, we have fruit candies. Um, and they're from Glika, and I've had lots of Glika stuff, their stuff is good. Glika, I'm pretty sure Glika makes Pookie. Um, and this is, I think, either grapefruit or orange. And grape. So, anyway, I will try a couple things on camera, and then I will save the rest for my blog. So, uh, might as well bite the bullet and get the serious things over with first. This. Oh my god, they really are tiny little fish. That's so creepy. Um. Oh god. <laughs> I can eat this. This is scary. It's a little fishy. That is like... On so many levels, that is terrifying. He smells like peanuts, though. Okay. Wish me luck. Mmm, <laughs> salty. Very salty. Kind of sweet though. <laughs> Definitely tastes like fish. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I can finish this. 
I swear. Because I know I'm eating fish bones right now and it's like creeping me out a little bit. <laughs> um, and then I'm pretty sure this is the Simbae. Mm -hmm. mm -mm, no, that's not the Simbae. This is a shrimp cracker maybe? Um, I'm pretty sure this is Simbae. It looks more like Simbae. Actually, there's God knows what in here, but it's all good. Although, it's very possible that these are just different types of semi. Mmm. Mmm. That one's good. That one's very good. What is this one? Mmm, this reminds me of those Robin's eggs that we had, like, my first box. I just like them. Mmm. This isn't bad at all. Mm. Uh, not, uh, not terrible. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. I think that I'm going to save the rest for my brother. Sorry, I didn't notice that it like snuck down. I'm probably going to save the rest for my brother. Just because I am very creeped out by this little fish. And I don't want to give him a bag with like two dried fish in it. So. That was good. Um, let us go for the Takenoko Yama. Or ta ta Takenoko Yama. This is from Meiji. I swear there's like three major companies over there. Glica, Meiji, and like, um, Bourbon. Hmm. Hmm. Very good. Everything I've ever come to expect from, um, Japanese chocolate. <laughs> but very good. Hmm. Okay. What else can we go for? Um. Not the meeting chocolate. I might as well try the um arrow. That fish was so weird. Okay. Oh, that was so freaky. Mmm, but that's a nice chocolate taste. Not too heavy. It's like real chocolate, but we can see all the bubbles in it. So, definitely not bad. Huh. Very light and airy. I'd buy that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try the kelp and pickled plum jelly next. And if I make the same face that I made in when I ate the fish from the sembe. Please forgive me. Can't smell it. I can never smell these. It freaks me out. It tastes almost like like tea. Hmm. It's not bad. It's just very different. Not bad though. Really good. Mm. Um, I will try the cake next. Basically like a Swiss cake roll, but smaller, flatter. It was definitely good. I noticed that like the flavors over there are a lot lighter than they are in America. I think it's because they use, um, I don't think they're allowed to use artificial flavoring. I know like in the, uh, 
like Eastern Europe there or like in Europe they're not allowed to use it so anyway I'm only going to eat one of these. I'm going to save the other one for my brother. Um, because I still haven't actually gotten him a subscription to this yet, and I feel kind of bad about it. But, anyway. Mmm. Mmm. That is phenomenal. <laughs> it's really good. It's got, um, it's salty on the bottom like all rice crackers are. But the top's like a nice light strawberry flavoring. It's, <laughs> it's really good. Mm. Oh yeah, that's that's pleasant. Okay, and I will try one of the hard candies, and I will try the mint milk candies, and I'll save the other two for my brother. Ooh, that's nifty. Look at that. <laughs> mhm. Mm Oh yeah. That's good. That's really good. It's different. It's really good. <laughs> very minty. Very light on the mint, but it's like very pleasing to the mouth. It doesn't it doesn't burn like some mints do. <clears throat> Pardon me. So anyway, um that was my squish box for today. Uh I hope everybody enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoy your snacks. <laughs> Um, if you get the service, if you don't get the service, it is a $10 a month subscription service, or no, $12 a month subscription service, there's no cost for shipping. It bills the first of every month, and they frequently offer, um, contests on their Facebook, and they sell, um, whatever surplus stock they have, they'll sell online, on the website, and they have theme, um, theme packages that they release every once in a while, like, um, ooh, that mint's really good. Um, like they just did a Christmas one and now there's a Valentine's one out. So, um, if you're interested, I'll leave the link below. Please feel free to comment below and let me know what you think, um, or what you got. And, um, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. And I guess I will see everybody next time. I have quite a few things coming in the mail, so I can't wait to see you. Have a good day, everybody.